My name is Steve Gwena Mugwena and welcome to the African Freedom Station, the only Afrocentric multimedia gallery at the foothills of memory. If you're young, creative and black in the city, it can be a very lonely and alienating space. So I think I created the station so that people who want to share the kinds of things that they think belong in a kind of sensibility about a changing Africa that we change ourselves, could gather, you know? And I also wanted the space to show pictures, my own drawings, the drawings of other people. And it's become a spiritual place, you know? Because it's really about a, sp a place to get away from the noise of the city and to listen much more carefully, you know? And to look more closely and to choose an intimacy with like-minded people and experience freedom. And you don't have to have money to experience that, you just have to be. You know? the, the whole atmosphere, you know, you've got the artwork on the wall, you've got the exposed beams on the ceiling, you know, it's, you, you can draw inspiration from such things, you know. It's not too... How can I put it? It's not too classified. Like you don't have like shiny stuff. You know, it's 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 raw. You've got your basic woods on the floor. You know, you've got exposed floor. It's stuff stuff that you know. Uh, how can I put it? In the natural essence of life, you know, you can draw inspiration from that. I want to be creative. Like creativity. Okay. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm Zetina Musia. I'm a singer songwriter. And I love African Freedom Station. It's timeless, it's art, it's magic, it's consciousness, it's African identity, it's visionary, it's it's a space where people can be themselves through their art. If you're an artist, you need certain things to survive. Create, produce, and create and produce. Have patience to heal. It's a home for artists. If you love art, this place provides them. We are a question mark on the landscape. The Freedom Station is on the edge of Sophia Town, a place where black people were forcibly removed once upon a time. We come back to these kind of spaces in the city looking for a safe perch, like birds that migrate, you know? Because our culture is unwelcome. Our culture is not fully catered for in this place. So when we said Freedom Day, we knew that it's about freedom, man. The seminal question to the establishment of the African Freedom Station is simply this. If the greatest weapon in the hands of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed, what should our minds be like? Who would we be if we were free? 
What would we do? What would we wear? What music would we listen to? What art would we do? So we have to reimagine our freedom beyond the freedom that comes with political freedom of new flags and new anthems. If Miriam Makeba, Dorothy Masuku and Abigail Kubega did not sing in the night in those bad days, we would have no song to sing today, you know. We are about the celebration of our ancestors, especially the creative ancestors that languished in the city, the people who are unknown. If those people from Safari Town came back today, they would be proud to hear us sing their song and our song in our time.